hello everyone and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to draw a circle in a triangle so as you can see we already have our triangle and we are going to be drawing a circle inside it such that the circle will be touching the three sides of the triangle so if, let me just do a freehand sketch of what we are going to be doing so if you have a triangle like this and we are going to draw a circle inside the triangle such that it will touch this side touch this side and this side of the triangle so let's get into it <coughs> So before we start, uh, if you are new to this channel or you are yet to subscribe, please consider subscribing. It's absolutely free. So go ahead and click on that subscribe button and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button. Alright, thank you very much if you have just subscribed. So now in this triangle, let's call this point point A. So let's call this point B and let's call this point C. So for us to inscribe a circle in this, tri in this triangle, what you need is, is our compass. So you pick your compass from any of these three angles, either angle A, B, or C. So you can use any two. So I'm going to be using that of A and B. So at any convenient uh, length, you adjust your compass. You can see just any length. I, can, I didn't measure it. So once you pick it up like this, so you place it on point B. I'm starting from point B. You are going to draw an arc like this. I hope you can see it. So I haven't done that. So you can decide to use the same length or now you can decide to increase it a bit. So you place it on where this arc is touching line BC. Line BC, you place the compass there. You draw an arc. With now with the same length, you don't need to adjust it again. Where this particular one is touching line AB. You draw another arc. And then the point of intersection, you notice this is the point of intersection. So from that point of intersection, you, you are going to draw a line to point B. So you draw it with a faint line. So we've done that. So what we've done to point B, we are going to repeat the same thing to point A. So you pick your compass again at any convenient length. Place it on point A. You draw an arc like this to touch both line AC and line AB. So you can see it, you are having it. So you can decide to also increase it again. So once you have increased it, you place it on this point where it is touching line AB. We have this arc that we just drawn the touching line AB. On this point, you draw an arc. Oh. So just make sure you are careful to avoid such mistakes. So you place it on this point, you draw an arc. Now with the same length, you place it here. On this point. And then you draw an arc. Now also you note the point of intersection. So the point of intersection, this is it right here. So now that we have already noticed the point of intersection again, so from that point, you are going to draw a line to point A. So I haven't drawn this line. Now, there's another intersection. Now, this line that will extend from point A like this, and that of B. Now, the point of intersection, this is it. This is the own point of intersection. We have this line that's from A and the one from B, the point of intersection, you note it. So let me call that point point O. Now that point that I've just drawn represents the center of the circle that we are going to be drawing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw a perpendicular line from that point O to touch line AB. So I'm going to be using my set square to make it much more easier. So from that point O. So let me just call this um, point 1. So from point O to point 1 now represent the radius of the circle. So you can just pick up your compass, you place it on point O. And adjust it to where we have this point 1. So you can see now, this is it where we are having this point 1. So having done that, you use it to draw your circle. So let me go over it to make it bold. So with this now you can see that this is how you go ahead to draw a circle in a triangle. So again in summary, once you have your triangle, you bisect two of the uh, any two of the angles. You bisect it. So the point of intersection of the two bisector, that means these lines will represent the center of the circle and with that you'll be able to draw your circle in the triangle. So thank you very much for watching. If you find value in this video, please give it a thumbs up and also check out our playlist on engineering and technical drawing. There are a lot of videos there that I believe will be of help to you. 
So with that, I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.